Brad Kohler with Desert Oasis Pest Control. We're going to remove the bees from this tree. Some of the girls are already interested in me. Um, it'll take us a couple hours. We've got Steve, Scott, and Brad working on it. And here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is analyze the tree, where we believe the bees to be nesting and where they built their hive. Then we're going to smoke the bees just to help the bees not fly around as much, just calm them down a little bit. We're going to check all our equipment, just make sure everything's in working order so that when we are messing with the bees, we won't get into any trouble. So we decided to cut off this limb in the front and part of the trunk. This part probably took about 45 minutes to an hour just to get it all the way off. This is pollen in this, um, in this honeycomb. And that's the protein that they're gonna eat and that they're gonna feed to their babies. Here's, here are the babies right here. These are capped brood. They'll be hatching out soon in just a few days. There's also some larvae in there. I expect eggs, but my eyes aren't that good. So we're gonna clean this up in just a second here. These are two queen cups. They've, um, they're getting just, they're just preparing. Here's a third queen cup. They haven't swarmed, but they're, they're practicing what to do. Be looking for the queen. She's probably on one of these, um, yeah, the brood comb ones. So. She looks just like a bee, only longer. Has a bigger rear end. You want me to start vacuuming? This is a queen clip. We're able to open it and gently get her inside of it, the queen. And she's not able to get out, she's too big. But the other bees are small enough they can get in and out and feed her, take care of her and keep her warm. So we'll get her in this if we can find her and put her in the box, strap her onto a, a frame. And the bees will know that she, she's missing and can smell her and they'll go into the box. So if we, if we can get her, we win. Here's a wax moth, larva. They eat the wax, they really like the honeycomb that the bees have been in and that they've had their babies in. It's nature's way of turning honeycomb back to dirt. The honeycomb is, is, is directional. We need to get it oriented the same way that it was before. There's a 9% um, tip on this, angle on this, and so we want to get it the same way so that the honey doesn't leak out and so that the bees don't drown and stuff. So that's, we're going to keep it the same way that it was oriented before. So here we're using rubber bands to hold the honeycomb in place. This is a temporary procedure just until the bees can get the honeycomb stabilized within the frames. We're gonna try to shake these bees into the box. They'll emit a pheromone with their nasmoth gland that tells the other bees to join them and come to the box. I can tell that these bees have been here for a little while, at least a year is what I would guess, because the brood of the comb is dark and when they first do it, it's pristine white. This is drone comb. It's the, the male bees. And so that's all they do is is mate with the queen if they're lucky. They they communicate by by smell a lot and one of the smells is um, alarm pheromone to like we should go fight these people that are a beehive. It masks that so they can't smell it. They also think maybe their beehive's on fire, so they're gonna eat and fill their stomachs 
so they could start a new beehive. Next we are going to use a vacuum to collect as many bees as we can. This is a very light suction as to not hurt the bees. This is sugar water that we mixed up to put on the bees. We want them not to fly because we're going to try to get them all in this box and get the top on. We're going to lock them down for a couple days until they decide this is home. Um, this one went really well, and the biggest thing was nobody got hurt. A few stings. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that's for one of the outtakes. Okay, but we've got the bees removed. We never found the queen. Um, the, the tree is still standing, although I think this is going to be the end for the tree. And um, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.